Hi guys and uh, welcome to my next video. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Google Maps in Digipad. So now many of you have been asking regarding this. Uh, what I want to inform you is that we cannot install the latest version of Google Apps which we run in our Android phones today because the Android version in our Digipad is a very old version. It's an Android gingerbread version. So the Google Maps app which is only compatible with gingerbread can run in Digipad. Nevertheless, we can still run Google Maps and it is somewhat useful while going on long trips or any vacations. So I'll just show you how to install the Google Maps version which is compatible with Digipad. So first thing, as already I have shown you in my previous video, you need to enable installation of unknown apps. So you, for that you need to go to settings and go to about section and then press on the menu 4 to 5 times until you get a CTS setting option. So click on this will ask you for a password what you have to write is 9 just a minute 9 8 7 and 6 then press ok you get uh, an option into the hidden settings of the digipad so go down in the hidden settings and here you have to tick on the unknown sources which I have already ticked here so once you have done that you are halfway done just press the home button now so what you need to do next is click on the default browser in the digipad and then click on the search bar now here what you have to write is, just write what I am going to tell you now, uh, write g double o dot g l, put a hash, then write 4 and then write capital V capital B Q R A, small letters. So if you can see this, this is the uh, USB address there. So you have to type this g double slash four capital V B Q R A. So once you've written that, just press on the go button so that the page loads there. Yeah, as you can see the page has loaded and it has written map 6.1.6.14.4. So this is the version of maps which is going to run in the digipad. So now just click on the download button and just wait for some time. So now uh, if you have got ES file manager installed, it will ask you uh, which manager to use for download and you will face with a pop up like this. But in case you don't have an ES file manager, the browser will automatically take over the download. So I will just click on the browser button here. Yeah. So as you can see the starting download pop up has just come. So if you just drag down the menu now, as you can see the Google Maps 6.144 version is being downloaded on the digipad. It's not a very big app and uh, since it's a very old app, you the functionality in the app is very less compared to the latest version which we use in our phones day to day. Uh, the navigation part of the Google Maps has been turned into a separate app in this app particularly because the navigation and maps don't come together as we get in our phones now. I'll show you in just a minute how it works out. The navigation app comes separate and the Google Maps app comes separate in this. So let's just finish this download. So as you can see the download has completed so now just click on this it is going to ask you to install the Google Maps in your digipad so click on install and wait for the installation to complete as you can see application has been installed so now just click on open going to ask for terms and conditions so you just have to click on accept now it is going to ask you to turn on GPS and mobile network location so you just click on this never show this again because every time otherwise when you open the Google Maps app it will show this pop-up so click on this and go to skip so now as you can see Google Maps app has already been here and it is already showing my location in the as the blue dot there so this is how it works. So if you just click on the center button here, the cursor location, it will zoom in onto your exact location and uh, based on your uh, internet connection speed, the map will load accordingly. Basically it has all the features, I mean the visual, visually it looks very similar to the latest version but functionally it is very different. So I'll just show you how that is going to work. 
so now and it also has google earth enabled within the google map so that is one good thing here is a button which shows the different layers which you can enable so just click on this and as you can see it asking for traffic satellite terrain and public transport lines if you click on satellite and just wait for some time and you get this wonderful view of google earth along with all the roads and pathways shown if you wait for some time the google earth will take time to load but yes it is available you can use google earth imagery along with google maps in the same app so now once that is done just press on the home button and now to bring it to the home screen click on the apps and here is the maps application which has been installed press and hold on this drag it and leave it on your home screen so that you can access it instantly so as i told you earlier regarding the navigation app being a separate app uh, i'll show you how to see that so just click on this apps button as you can see there is separate maps app and separate navigation app those these two both got installed together so if you click on navigation so again it will ask you for a pop pop up so click on accept without clicking show this message next time click on accept and now here it will ask you to type destination so once you click on this you need to type your destination and uh, you have to start navigation according to your original location which is showing on the gps app so navigation app is separate than your google apps so you can use either way whichever way suits you properly and uh, you can continue using google maps but you, the problem is you cannot update this app because the android version in the digipad is very old so the google has uh, took out the support for this app luckily it's uh, the older version is still running because the google play store or big google's youtube is not running on digipad anymore i have already tried they have uh, removed the support for uh, play store and youtube on this android version luckily they haven't removed the support for uh, google maps so since we are getting to use it we can use that along with the default navigation which is xigo available in the digipad so this is it guys this is how you can easily in the most simple manner within a matter of few minutes you can install google maps in your digipad and use it according to your convenience so this is for all those guys who were asking for this so if you like this video do uh, don't forget to hit like the button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to receive more tips and tricks and uh, several other features of digipad and regarding wrv car and in cars in general all the accessories about the car and everything else so i hope you like this video do keep supporting me and have a good day